The library of PC games is so much more vast than that of consoles, but the PC gaming community still gets really excited when a console-exclusive franchise crosses over. And Destiny is no exception. But the question that arises when that happens is, how well did the developer optimize the PC version for different hardware? PC gamers finally got a chance to play the beta for Destiny 2 for a few short days, so we grabbed that opportunity to address that very question. We configured three different systems to test the accuracy of Destiny 2's hardware requirements, and, spoiler alert, it's looking pretty good. Let's elaborate after the intro. Working across multiple computers is a messy process. It's way too easy to click and type on the wrong system, which can cause unnecessary stress and frustration. But we found a solution. Synergy. Synergy is a software application that lets you control multiple devices with just one mouse and keyboard. You can drag and drop files, share your clipboard, and more across Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Find out more and get 50% off using the link in the description. So, unfortunately, the beta is already over. It ended this morning, but as you might have noticed, we've had a bit of difficulty ramping our content production back up after we moved into this studio. But if the beta is any indication, what we discovered during our testing here should mostly apply to the full game, which launches September 6th on consoles and October 24th a month and a half later on PC. That's not fair. So as is customary, Bungie posted a list of minimum hardware requirements for PC and a recommended system configuration. But we also added a super high-end overkill system to see how much we could push the game as well. The official minimum specs are a Core i3-3250 or AMD FX4350, GTX 660 or Radeon HD 7850, and 6GB of RAM. Recommended specs are an Intel Core i5-2400 or a Ryzen R5-1600X, GTX 970 or R9-390, and 8 gigs of RAM. Now, we didn't actually have all those components lying around, so we talked to the very nice people at FreeGeek, a tech recycling and used equipment store here in Vancouver. They hooked us up with a Dell Optiplex 390 sporting an Intel H61 chipset inside. Not the flashiest of systems, but it'll do us just fine, and if you are in need of a not flashy system that'll do you just fine, or you need to recycle some technology that you have lying around, check out FreeGeek. They're super cool. We were able to build the recommended system pretty much exactly with the i5 and GTX 970, but our minimum system wasn't as accurate. We couldn't find a Core i3-3250, so we had to go with an i3-2120. They are CPUs of different capabilities, but they're only within one generation of each other and in the same performance bracket, so we figured it would have to do for this test. We also used a Radeon RX 460 instead of an HD 7850. The newer card is only 7% faster according to user benchmark, and it might offset our use of a slightly lower tier CPU. For our super spec system, we used the X299 PC Anthony put together in that super sensual build video. It's got a Core i9-7900X, GTX 1080 Ti, and 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Also, RGB RAM. So, like I said, overkill. I tested the minimum spec system at low settings, the recommended spec system at high settings, and the super spec system at the highest settings, all at 1080p, except I also did a 4K run on the super spec. I benchmarked multiplayer matches and the co-op strike mission since they have pretty different virtual environments. Our minimum system made a valiant effort, hitting averages above 30 FPS in both tests, but while doing the testing, frame drops and stuttering made it pretty hard to really enjoy the gameplay. The recommended spec system did wonderfully in both multiplayer and the strike, never dropping below 70 FPS, and the super spec system killed it at 1080p, as it should. 4K at the highest settings, however, wasn't exactly playable, averaging under 30 FPS. Hopefully we see a little more optimization from Bungie there before launch. Dropping to 1440p or high settings would probably be great, but we, we should have that 4K highest settings there. Bungie, come on. We're PC gamers. We want that. Overall, it looks like Destiny 2 on PC has been pretty well optimized. I didn't notice any issues like frame drops or stuttering on the recommended system, although as I mentioned, the minimum spec system was close to unplayable at 1080p, and that was at the lowest settings. If your rig has specs around that same level, you'll probably want to upgrade your processor graphics card or RAM before you buy the game. 
On the other side, it looks like Destiny 2 can't make full use of the highest-end hardware either right now, although that may change post-launch. If you are in the market for an upgrade, make sure you check NCIX.com. There's brand new sales every week and weekend, so click the link in the corner or the description to head there and shop to your heart's content. All right, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let us know in the comments if you are going to head into the world of Destiny 2. Personally, I don't know, I think I might play the campaign, but I'm not a huge fan of the looting the same gun in different variations over and over and over. But w maybe there's more to it. We'll have to see after it launches. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comments if you're going to play it. Thanks for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you on the, on the web.